Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the Haro Basic Green, uh, part of the Haro Plow line. Um, now it obviously says uh, Build Divers up here, but it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't think this would be exclusive to Build Divers. I mean, this, you know, the Haro has been in multiple different Gundam series, um, so I, I don't. I, I would just say that this is just a normal, um, you know, kind of like series. Like it's kind of like not exclusive to anything. Uh, maybe except for the original Gundam series, but I would just say it's kind of more of a basic thing But it's just kind of weird how they have the build divers uh, symbol up there But uh, just taking a look at the front of the art, uh, you know, it looks really good. This is the basic green version There are mo uh, multiple different other ones. So they have like I think an orange one a red one They got the uh, the pink one coming out very soon uh, But you know what? I just want to go ahead and get the green one because I was like, you know what? I'm not really interested in those other colors I'm just interested in the original kind of design. Now over here, it does say that um, essentially you don't need uh, glue, nor do you need uh, any kind of nippers. Uh, this is just an easy assembly, so uh, no tools necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get this thing together uh, without any tools. And looking on the side, you see it does retail for uh, 500 yen, which is about $5. Nothing really too crazy here, but you do see it's number one in the line of the Haro Plus series. And then over here, you just see kind of like the basics. Um, you see the person kind of just pulling it out of the runner and not having to actually actually uh, snip it. There is a, um, a inner mechanism as far as like, you know, kind of designs with the eyes and everything. So that's pretty dope. Um, and then here is just, you know, a little, little small ball. It can, uh, you know, take out the hands as well as the legs. And over here you do see the other colors, so the orange and the red. And I think, they, they definitely have the purple coming out soon, but I think there was another color uh, that was also released, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and crack this thing open. And here's everything that comes inside the box. Okay, so taking a look at these runners, um, they look pretty good. It's only two runners that you're gonna get and just a couple poly caps. Uh, but overall, they look pretty good. Um, I mean, let's see if we can go ahead and just pull this out so just like that we can go ahead and just take these out uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put it all together uh, but aside from the runner or well, the runners uh, you do get the instructions that are right here so very very simple instructions and then you also get this uh, big old like pamphlet uh, pamphlet uh, that basically says like hey all, these are all the things that's coming out or has already came out and you can go ahead and purchase them but we already went through this with the build diver uh, kit so I'm not gonna go over this again but yeah, let's go ahead and review this actual kit. And here's the Haro. Uh, I didn't do any panel lines or anything to it. I just, this is just kind of like straight up. I snapped it together and that was it. Didn't really care to like clean up the little nubs and all that. Um, now some of the nubs are going to be visible. Uh, I don't know if you can really catch it on the camera, but you know, parts of the hand, uh, there, there was like a little one uh, down over here. Uh, but definitely like on the hands like right there. Um, there's a couple little nubs So obviously you could just go ahead and clean it up doesn't it wouldn't take any um, any time at all And you can go ahead and panel line, you know some parts on here like the fingers you can panel line on the face um, Maybe some other parts on the inside if you want to go ahead and just display with the uh, internal frame uh, But overall it looks pretty good and it, it is gonna have a um, a little bit of a functionality as far well I guess more of a gimmick um, so you see it has like these little hands and they're all like little ba uh, ball joints so you can definitely move these around as you wish um, this kind of comes off a little bit um, but yeah these little like legs um, they can actually kind of rotate and it's gonna be on this little stand right here so you can just go ahead and pop that off it definitely cannot stand on its own um, no, this is gonna be rounded so uh, cannot stand on its own but yeah you, you are gonna have these little like j uh, pretty much joints these little uh, hands as well as feet now you can go ahead and pop these off like so and you pop these off and then you can go ahead and you know pretty much open these these have their own little individual uh, articulation and you take these little feet off pop these on the inside if I can like so and then pop this one on like so and then there's going to be wherever I put it at there's gonna be this little part right here that's just gonna connect underneath so you pop that in like that and then you take the stand off and voila so now you can just go ahead and have the Haro in its ball form or if you want to go ahead and display it with the uh, the ears up you could do so like that and then the stand 
the stand just plugs in right here on the back, actually upside down like that. So you can go ahead and store the little stand right there and then all those little limbs. So you can just plug these, uh, please go like, like this. This one's gonna go right here. This one goes like this. And then this one goes like that. So all the little limbs can just go right underneath the stand and then bam. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like this. Um, this is a little nifty, nifty idea. Uh, I already have a, I have a huge Haro. Like, uh, I, I think it's like a light, um, like a one-on-one -one scale Haro. Um, but I already have that in my collection. I just wanted a small one just to go ahead and see exactly what they're all about. Uh, but overall, like, they're really not that bad. Um, I thoroughly enjoy them. So uh, if you like Haro's and you kind of want to, you have like some ideas as far as like uh, what you want to do for like maybe customizing or something of the sort. Um, these are definitely be some pretty good, uh, interesting little kits to get into. Um, but that's it, guys. I just want to go ahead and show you a quick little review of the little Haro's. Uh, maybe I actually, hold on, give me one second. And here it is. Like, I just wanted to compare it to a high grade real quick. Um, so here it is compared to the Double O Diver. Uh, quite a size difference, uh, you know, pretty much obviously. Uh, but this, you know, kind of just being next to some UC kits, I think would be pretty awesome. Um, that's really up to you guys. But uh, that's it. That's all I want to do is go ahead and give a quick comparison, give a quick review of this little kit, and um, that's pretty much it. I'm probably not. I'm definitely not going to be buying any of the other ones. Uh, but if they have like maybe an interesting one that comes out, maybe I'll entertain it. But as far as like the petite guys, the bear guys, and all that, I I just don't even touch those. Um, but that's it for me guys, definitely thanks for watching, definitely rate, rate, comment, subscribe, and then ring that bell for notifications for future reviews, and I'll see you in the next review, see you later, bye bye.